Here are three reasons why Windows 11 is going to change gaming forever. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by RGB Swap, a better alternative to eBay that I really think you should take a look at. RGB Swap is a marketplace exclusively for selling and buying computer parts that offers much lower fees than competitors such as eBay as well as greater protection against scams. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, you're guaranteed to be protected since all orders have to be paid for first and the funds are held for 48 hours after the buyer receives the item or they leave feedback, ensuring that you never get sold a bad item. Additionally, all disputes are manually reviewed and PayPal is used exclusively for an extra layer of security. I gotta tell you guys, I like this website a lot and I really want it to take off as a better alternative to eBay, so please, if you're interested in buying or selling PC parts online, click the link in the description below and give it a shot. I think you'll really like it. Alright, so later this year, Windows 11 is gonna be launching and it's gonna be bringing a whole bunch of new features including a brand new UI, but gamers especially are gonna have a lot to look forward to and in this video, Video, I'm going to be breaking down three updates that are going to be an absolutely huge deal for gamers going forward. Now, the first thing I want to talk about in this video is Auto HDR. Now, Auto HDR is an absolutely huge deal, and it was originally slated to come out with Windows 10 in a later update this year. However, it looks like, at least according to the information that I've seen so far, that it's only coming to Windows 11 now. So, that's going to be a big deal for gamers and a big reason for gamers to upgrade to Windows 11, and here's why. Now, if you don't know what Auto HDR is, it essentially takes all these various different games that weren't originally created with HDR in mind and it attempts to actually recreate that HDR look and honestly I did try this out in a developer edition of Windows 10 earlier this year and I found that uh, even back then Auto HDR was doing an absolutely fantastic job of trying to recreate the look of HDR so I think it's going to be a huge deal for all you gamers out there who are using an HDR display honestly I think this is going to be a huge benefit to you because you know Windows 10 has kind of struggled with HDR and it's pretty unfortunate because HDR HDR is a huge upgrade in terms of gaming. Uh, it allows those brights to get just so much brighter and it gets a lot more immersive. So yeah, the first reason why you might want to upgrade to Windows 11 is that auto HDR. And I think for all you gamers out there, you may want to consider upgrading to Windows 11 for this reason. Now, the second thing I want to talk about isn't going to be quite as huge as Auto HDR. However, I still think it's going to be a big upgrade over Windows 10, and that's the Microsoft Store. Apparently, uh, the Microsoft Store is going to be seeing a big update that should allow it to be a little bit easier to use. And on top of that, it's also supposedly going to support Android apps. So that's definitely going to be very interesting. A lot of PC gamers uh, may not actually want to run on Android apps, but either way, it's going to be a cool and interesting feature. And according to IGN, quote, not only will the store look and feel better with support for more universal app extensions, it will also let you install native Android apps on your PC. So yeah, it's definitely a huge deal and I think for a lot of people with laptops out there who maybe have touch screens, this is definitely going to be more interesting for them. But you know, either way still, I think that for PC gamers, getting a better Microsoft Store is going to be a much needed upgrade. And then finally, the last thing I want to talk about is once again going to be a huge upgrade for gamers and that's direct storage. And once again, much like Auto HDR, this originally was supposed to to come to Windows 10 and an update for DirectX 12 Ultimate. However, at least according to some articles that I've been seeing lately, it looks like this is going to be another Windows 11 exclusive. And that's a little bit unfortunate for those Windows 10 gamers, but you know, either way, again, this looks like it's going to be another big reason to upgrade to Windows 11. And the reason why is because Direct Storage is going to allow for games to load much faster. And the way it works according to IGN is that, quote, traditionally game data from the storage is passed on to the graphics unit GPU through the CPU, which slows things down. With direct storage, the GPU can access the data from storage much faster, meaning less time wasted by the CPU and shorter loading times when optimized for. So once again, we're looking at an absolutely huge upgrade for PC gamers. You know, this is kind of similar to what we're seeing on the consoles where they have a similar technology where the GPU can get much faster access to the SSD storage, which now that pretty much all these newer SSDs are going to be PCI 3 or PCI 4, uh, that's going to allow you to load things much, much quicker in a way that just simply wasn't possible with previous uh, DirectX uh, uh, implementations as well as with SATA SSDs. And so once this actually hits desktop PCs, if you do have a PCIe 3 or even a PCIe 4 SSD that's really, really fast, uh, if these games are optimized for direct storage and you actually have everything up to date, well then yeah, your loading times could be significantly reduced. And now I think this would be an interesting technology 
you if it could be backported to older games, which do tend to suffer uh, from, you know, longer loading times, even with faster storage. But, you know, either way, with newer games going forward, they're definitely going to continue to get bigger and bigger. The texture sizes are going to continue to get larger. The worlds are going to continue to get larger. So getting DirectX storage implemented is definitely going to be a necessary move forward if we're going to want to continue to get these loading times to go further down. Because, you know, we could be looking at a situation here where, you know, if you don't have DirectX storage and you're using like a regular hard drive, you know, these newer games coming out could be taking minutes to load. Whereas if you have a PCI SSD and it's optimized for DirectX storage, you could be looking at a situation where you're actually loading these worlds in a matter of seconds. So yeah, overall, it looks like these three updates are going to be an absolutely huge upgrade for PC gamers. So if you're sitting there and you're on Windows 10 and you're not entirely sure if you should move to Windows 11, honestly, I would highly suggest you do so if you do have modern architecture type of hardware. Uh, so if you have like a GTX uh, card that's a little bit older and you have like a SATA SSD, maybe it won't be quite as huge of a deal. But if you're someone with a newer a GPU, such as like a 20 series or newer and you have like a PCI SSD, I think it's definitely going to be a good move for you to upgrade because you're going to be able to take advantage of that new auto HDR feature. You're going to get the new Microsoft Store and you're also going to get direct storage. So it should just allow you to get a better gaming experience out of Windows 11. And on top of that, Windows 11, I believe in early 2022, will be a free upgrade for Windows 10 owners. So if you don't want to go out and actually buy a new copy of Windows, if you just wait a little bit longer, you'll actually be able to get it for free. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that it's going to be worth upgrading to Windows 11 for these new features? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.